the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today knowing him as God and worshiping him as God is a new manifestation of the Spirit that will take you someplace that you've never been yet and it will profit you the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by the saying Father words in my name is Andrew Hemstraw thank you for joining right us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here today. these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Colossians chapter 4 verse 3 with all praying that God would open unto us a door of utterance say a door of utterance to speak but here he talks about a door of utterance that's scriptural language mm -hmm. see how I read that out of the scripture that would be a scriptural term a door say a door. a door a door of utterance that would be open to you meaning if the door was not opened it would be what closed. it would be closed it would be shut you wouldn't be able to speak that way mm -hmm. can you see that yeah. and you certainly couldn't after speaking that way enter in through that door on the other side of that door does this make sense yeah. a door of utterance mm -hmm. what's a door for that you can go through or you can't go through mm -hmm. so if the door of utterance you're able to say certain things you're able to go through that door and you're in a different space than you were before say space. space isn't that what the point of a door is for mm -hmm. you go from one side of the door to the other side of the door at which point you're in a different space that's what the door was for yes listen i speak from this place on the other side of a door a door of utterance has been given unto me and i say words that if you'll hear them will take you through a door so to speak scripturally to the other side and i would like to be a nice soft warm fuzzy pastor kind of guy but that's just not in me it's not in my makeup mm -hmm. things don't come out that soft and fuzzy i'm instructed tell them this and tell them with the authority i gave you to tell them that's how it comes to me if you can hear the authority with which I'm saying it then you can hear it and you can go there mm -hmm. I've had a door of utterance opened unto me I worship you Holy Ghost say a room, a room. of worshiping the, Holy Ghost. worshiping the Holy Ghost some have never entered into that room some have never even put their toe through that door so therefore they can know nothing about what's in that room or what it's like to be in that room mm -hmm. because they've never gone through that door of utterance i worship you holy ghost are you here yeah. but when you use those words i worship you holy ghost you enter through a door that you weren't before and you stand in a different place it's different isn't that the other point of a door so that on one side of the door is different than the other side of the door right yes. some have never entered through this door of worshiping the holy ghost never even put a single toe through and why is it those are the people that want to tell you there's nothing to it when they have no idea some outright refuse mm -hmm. but we have entered say we have entered, we have entered. and we found that on that side of the door the room of Holy Ghost worship it's a whole vast room everything changes everything's better this is my work I have entered into that place and I bring people in with me can you hear that yes and there are people therefore dependent on us in that room going on not going back there's nothing back there listen to me there's nothing back there you should know that 
when you cross the threshold into worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him in the earth you should realize and stop going back oh it's easier to go back everybody else is back there I know seriously what good does it do if I back off this message what good does it do it doesn't do any good for anybody especially those of us who've gone through the door mm -hmm. and stand here and especially for those who are called to go with me listen I'm entering into a new worldwide super manifestation of the Lord of Spirits for good and profit mm -hmm. and you can either go with me or stand outside the door and criticize refuse to go in there's nothing to that that's where we're going I'm called to take you there can you hear that I'm called to take you there I'm taking you with me see I speak from inside this room and it sounds strange to people who've never been here mm -hmm. they have a tendency to just reject it because it's different it's not what they're used to they're not used to anybody speaking with authority or someone with a message sent from God to tell them mm -hmm. and they're like that can't be right I've never heard that before and I've heard it all first Corinthians 12 verse 7 the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all the manifestation of the Spirit say the manifestation of the Spirit the manifestation of the Spirit who is the Spirit the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today knowing him as God and worshiping him as God is a new manifestation of the Spirit that will take you someplace that you've never been yet and it will profit you you ready for this mm -hmm. first Corinthians 14 38 if any man be ignorant let him be ignorant other translations say remain let them remain remain what does remain mean it means to stay where they're at they can't listen they can't go to where you're going if they remain you're moving on you're going somewhere you've entered a room that they won't go into and the Bible says if any man be ignorant let them remain ignorant well some of you always knew there was more but you were told that that's it and instructed that that was it by religious leaders religious doctrine I'm telling you there's more there's a lot more but I'm also telling you that you can't see it unless you're changed to see it can you understand that yeah. you have to be changed in order to see the next thing number one you have to believe there's more because a lot of people don't they've got it all But then you have to be changed in order to see what the more is i tell you i've been changed you go from one glory to the next glory but if you don't go to the glory that's in front of you you can't go to the one that's beyond that are you here this is how it works you get new eyes when you go to the next glory you get new ears to hear when you go to the next glory when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost you get new ears and you hear things in a way that you've never heard them before your reality changes mm -hmm. your Bible changes mm -hmm. the actual words don't change but the way you see it is completely different mm -hmm. using the words I worship you Holy Ghost changes you it changes you into something you weren't before number one you become a Holy Ghost worshiper something you weren't before but it also changes the way you see things the way you hear things the way you say things say it changes, it changes the, way I say things. the way I say things 
you change from something you weren't into something new and then from that place say from that place from that place you can see the new from that place you can see the next glory but if you didn't go through that door and 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 be changed mm -hmm. then you can't see it well you won't see the next until you go here like it or not you won't see the next until you go here you won't see the next until you go here i'm telling you i'm testifying as someone who's gone through that door i can see the next i couldn't before worshiping the holy ghost changes you some will outright be unwilling to go there and some will outright reject worshiping the holy ghost as god where i am now i can't even imagine that maybe i could have imagined it before when when i didn't see these things that i see now but having become a holy ghost worshiper knowing that he's god the one that jesus sent to be with me that i can walk with him in the earth mm -hmm. and not worship him as god and people that should know better completely rejecting the worship of him as god it's just i don't know what to do with that anymore it seems i don't want to touch it mm -hmm. but those people who reject or refuse to go here they seem to be happy where they're at but i also say that if you're happy where you're at don't worship the holy ghost because it will change everything can you, you can understand that mm -hmm. it will shatter all of your preconceived notions about who god is and how to walk with him i have to destroy the old by introducing the new and if i destroy i get paid the holy ghost is god in the earth today and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word that right there will destroy the old mm -hmm. the old way you thought you used to walk with god i'm a sent one with a message that's the message many people are with me and they must go here listen they must go here and i must take them for you promotion comes from within this room say promotion comes, promotion comes from, within from within this room this is the room you're in and you get promoted by being there and being faithful i addressed this a couple weeks ago the promotion comes from here but it comes from in this room acts chapter 13 now there were in the church that was at antioch certain prophets and teachers as barnabas and simeon that was called niger and lucius of cyrene and manian which had been brought up with herod the tetrarch and saul right yep. so these are teachers and prophets and uh, saul verse 2 as they ministered to the lord the word ministered there could be translated worship as they worshiped the lord say as they worshiped the lord as they worshiped the lord say as they worshiped the lord as they worshiped the lord when is the next thing to happen as mm -hmm. they worshiped the lord while they were worshiping the lord does this make sense to you i'm talking about people being promoted here they're worshiping the lord and as they were doing it as they were i worship you the holy ghost said who said the Holy Ghost said separate me they're worshiping the Lord the Holy Ghost said separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them who called them the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. who said separate me the Holy, the Holy Ghost and this all happened while they were worshiping the Lord the Holy Ghost and when they had fasted and prayed they laid their hands on them and sent them away so they being sent forth 
by the Holy Ghost so they being promoted and set into something new by the Holy Ghost that they were worshiping well anyway we go from one glory to the next by the Holy Ghost can you see that mm -hmm. do you see how they went from one glory to the next by the Holy Ghost as they ministered to the Lord he put them to the next promotion level they were promoted they went forward they went from one thing to the next say they went from one thing, from one thing to, the to the next they went from one glory to the next glory Amen. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now remember this says, as they ministered or as they worshiped the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now say now, now now the lord is that spirit mm. now the lord is that spirit as they ministered to the lord mm -hmm. and fasted the holy ghost said now the lord is that spirit they ministered to the lord they worshiped the lord now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or where the spirit is lord there is liberty a kind of liberty you weren't walking in you're walking in a new kind of liberty another level of liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to the next glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord literally mm -hmm. the Spirit being Lord changes you say the spirit being lord, spirit being lord. Changes, me. changes me changes you from what from one glory to the next glory and if the spirit isn't lord you're not changed mm -hmm. now the lord is that spirit what spirit the one who promotes you when you worship him say the one who promotes me one who promotes when, I him. Worship him. when i worship him where the spirit is lord where the spirit is lord where the spirit is lord there is liberty where the spirit is lord you worship him listen where the spirit is lord you worship him where the spirit is lord you worship him if the spirit is lord you worship him where the spirit isn't lord you don't worship him can you go to a whole bunch of different places right now where the spirit is not being worshiped mm -hmm. the spirit being the holy ghost where the spirit is lord you worship him say it where the spirit, where the spirit is, lord, is lord you worship him and when you worship him he promotes you you go from one glory to the next glory even as by the lord who is that spirit where the spirit isn't lord you don't worship him we go from glory to glory by worshiping the Lord who is that spirit or you stay where you're at I didn't make the rules I didn't write the book you worship the Holy Ghost as God you go forward you get promoted especially in this day you don't worship the Holy Ghost as God you stay where you're at and the problem with staying where you're at as anyone knows it's been a believer for any period of time you're not really staying put you go backwards this is the new way forward can you hear it this is the new reality that we get to live in worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by saying words this is the new wealth follow me or be left behind not worshiping the Holy Ghost as God didn't get us to where we need to be did I say that right not worshiping the Holy Ghost as God which is what everybody's been doing has not gotten us to where we need to be worshiping the Holy Ghost as God will get us there well I'm never going back into disobedience I've been on both sides of that door this is better 
if people don't like it when I when you say things that plain and that blunt or with any kind of authority well too bad I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I've been changed from not being one to being one and this is better Acts chapter 24 14 this is Paul talking but this I confess unto thee that after the way in which they call heresy so worship I the God of my fathers notice Paul wasn't calling it heresy the scriptures aren't calling it heresy they were calling it heresy who the people that weren't doing this mm -hmm. after the way in which they call heresy so worship I the God of my fathers believing all things say believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets that means in the Word of God I'm not preaching heresy I believe all the things written in the Word I preach all of the things written in the Word I just happen to worship the Holy Ghost as God I can list all of the things and frankly I believe them more than you do I believe all the things and still worship the Holy Ghost as God mm -hmm. some say well I believe all the things I accept uh, except worshiping the Holy Ghost is God mm -hmm. right except believe uh, worshiping the Holy Ghost is God well heaven will be a wonderful place for you it'll be good but tell them this says the Spirit Lord heaven will be better for you who worship me those of you who know it know it they know it tell them heaven will be better for those who worship me second Corinthians 5 10 for we all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body so what are you going to receive reward according to what you've done in the body say in the body first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you therefore glorify God in your body did you see that yes. what are you supposed to do in your body glorify God another word for glorify is worship mm -hmm. what God are you supposed to glorify in your body Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost what know you not your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost you glorify God in your body you worship God in your body what are you rewarded according to the work you've done in your body you're rewarded people that do not glorify God in their body will not be rewarded for glorifying God in their body are you here people who do glorify worship the God that's in their body will be rewarded not only here listen not only here but in the eternity for worshiping the God that's in their body it will be better for you who are you going to glorify in your body the Holy, the Holy Ghost how do you glorify him by worshiping him and we go from one glory to the next glory even as by the Spirit Lord who's in our body and if he is Lord you worship him if he isn't Lord you don't worship him thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people those that have heard this word this evening shall be forever changed you see for I have been sent from the Father and Jesus to dwell with you and if you learn to walk with me and glorify me and worship me I will take you to places you could not go before for I've held them in reserve for those who will walk through this door of utterance and the utterance is worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. 
I worship you. I thank you that you're promoting me, taking me from one level of glory to another level of glory. And part of that glory, according to your word, is financial. I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. in heaven 